Hi, welcome to my channel Chess Photopixels. I was thinking what the next video should be about and I remembered I haven't finished my baking video of the stuff I brought with me, so I thought I'd make one. And here we are. Let's roll the intro. The idea was that I still had to unpack after I came home, so I shot some b-roll and maybe some commentary with it. And recently I looked in it and, well, as you can imagine, it sounds horrible. What you will see is unpacking and some commentary, maybe my review at the end. Sleeping back. And I multiply this with my puffy. So it's nice, compact. Package. The puffy is Partizan, and it's 200 coin, and it's pretty lightweight. The back sleeping bag is also Partizan, ultra light, and it's something around 290 coin, and it's also pretty lightweight. You can check it here. It's 200 grams of duck down, 700 plus coin, 615 grams. That's for the sleeping stuff. Next, just ordinary poncho for the rain. And it completely covers me and the backpack and has a hoodie. It's something like no brainer. It's a little bit more heavy than uh, I wish to, but otherwise completely fine. I stuff it uh, on the front of the backpack. One headlamp with UV, one jobby with the mount for the phone. It's nice and sturdy, you can lower it, change it. Yeah, this was handy for the time lapses. Oh, medical stuff. I'm using C2 Summit packages, basically for almost all of the stuff. So this is my med kit. Basically, I just got some pills, uh, pills for headaches and nausea, uh, some pills for diarrhea, and some kinesio tape. Basically, that's all I carry there. For the electric stuff, there is charger, bunch of cables here. Charger, that's about it. And here is some mission stuff, some deal, some cream for my tattoos, earplugs. Uh, this is really necessary. And some stuff for my beard and other things. Basically, that's all. This is earplug, last swap, and it's reusable, you just need to wash it. I can explain this because the normal size of this toothbrush is a little bit too big. So I want it all to fit in in this small pouch. So I just have this in size. And this is for beard. This is basically a comb. That's all. And in here there was beard oil. And for this stuff. Um, DJ Action 2, iPhone cable, COVID mask. I take this everywhere I go. This is the Platypus water filter with the dirty bag, one liter. And frankly, I can't advise you to pick this up, but it's lightweight. It was super useful. The flow is super perfect. You just, all you need to do, that's, that's why I have the string there. All you need to do after using is just let it open. From this point, you will uh, blow out all of the water, which will come this on this side, and you will just leave it like this, hanging from your backpack, and it will dry. That's all you need to do, because otherwise it will grow moss inside, and that's not good for you. Dito and some uh, balm for the lips. Another hand handy stuff is. This neck cover, head cover, basically anything you want. It's not 
microfiber or nanofiber, so it's not, not counted as a mask, but it's still handy. This is Merino. It's the same basically, but it's just from another material. Pencil, scissors for the tape and for cutting anything else, because you can't have knife, basically my multi-tool, which I tend to carry around. You can't have it on the airplane, so that's fine. Toilet paper and snacks. This is cashew. I tend to carry my passport and other stuff I don't want to get wet and I still want to carry it in my pocket, so this is no-brainer. Titanium long spoon and c to summit mug, that's all. Sandals uh, from Decathlon, I think it was pretty cheap buy, no-brainer. You need to get rest for your feet. Uh, Covid tests, online Covid tests, lighter uh, with duct tape and ziplock bag. This is pretty useful item because it's C to summit and this is the rope, you can dry your clothes on this. You will hang it from tree, whatever else you can find and you don't need any other hanging, hanging tools because this is these multiple like corals and you basically put your stuff between like this and you will tie it with the other knot and it will hold it's basically pretty useful stuff also really lightweight and i tend to carry it on the backpack from the outside another stuff from peak design this is the compression pack which i tend to carry all my clothes and the other stuff you can see it's still pretty lightweight Sleeping underwear, cotton t-shirt, bamboo under uh, underwear, swimsuit, one merino t-shirt, second merino t-shirt, another bamboo underwear, normal socks, cotton synthetic socks, it's like combination, just for the traveling, smart wool, so merino wool, uh, underwear, two pieces of them, and some merino socks. Yeah, uh, I carried, I think, more of this, yes. Another merino t-shirt just as a reserve and some legging pants. One C2 Summit uh, light quick drying towel. Another pair of shorts. One liner, this is just the uh, plastic liner, uh, which is garbage bag uh, for the backpack and the backpack itself, which is from Mountain Smith Zerg 40. This, this bag is just the stuff uh, roll, roll down top backpack. It has these nice two big straps with lots of pockets. Basically, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pockets reachable while you are wearing the backpack. And there is this big one, mesh pocket, from the other side. Yeah, I... I have some problems with this one, because there is no waist strap. You can see... It has got something like this. You can even detach it, detach it from, from the backpack. You just push it here and get it off. Which is saving you some weight, but... Well... I'm using this one a little bit. All right, my battery died on me. This strap is just to keep the backpack basically not scrambling around your back and on the other sides, and it just stays in place. It's nice and firm. One thing about the backpack, as you see, I have Mountain Smith Zerg 40. It's astonishing great backpack, don't get me wrong, but there is a big but. You have to really build up your muscle especially on your back and on your shoulders, because otherwise it's pain to carry this one. Anything above 12 kilograms is unbearable. For this uh, trip, my base weight was eight kilograms. That's somehow at max, because your base weight should be somewhere around 10% of your body weight. I weighed 90 kilos, so yeah, something like that. Plus, something to eat and something to drink which is i don't know 
two liters of water yeah something like that and as you drink it and eat it it gets lighter but you will fill up the water anyway somewhere so it tends to get heavier throughout the day that's how it is to be honest i haven't used my puffy jacket once yeah once as a pillow yeah that's all for my sleeping bag i had it out just to unfluff all the feathers because it's down and that's basically all i maybe used it twice throughout all the camino basically all the 18 days i was in spain and through the 10 days which our camino took it was i don't know yeah twice i slept in my back my sleeping bag twice mainly it was thanks to the fact that we slept anywhere but alpegas because they were full so once in hotel most of the times either in airbnbs surprisingly the, the prices were similar to albergues so it was okay i think and anywhere you sleep they will provide you with the basic sheet on the bed which is thought as a blanket i think no idea but i slept under that so for me that's fine i was glad i didn't brought any sweatshirts trousers anything like that yeah i had the uh, zip down shorts which can be trousers and that's basically all for the long sleeve stuff nothing else yeah my flannel shirt that's all yes that's all because i tend to get very hot when it's around 20 degrees that's fine for me when it starts to get around mm, 25 28 it's getting to really hot point uh, on the temperature scale and when it's over 30 well that's hell <laughs> the only savior is ice cream cold water and ocean or any body of water i can submerge myself in and yeah that's basically it that's that's all okay i will wrap this here i think that's all from my side if you have any idea suggestion or just a question write it down in the comments below that's fine as always like and subscribe that really helps me and i have something like satisfaction feeling after somebody like it at least like it you don't have to subscribe but it's fine if you do it really helps me a lot to publish more of these videos because i know somebody is watching them that's all about it is basic i started all of this uh, just for the vlogs but yeah you never know I, I'm just experimenting as anybody else should. So please do your thing. Like, subscribe and keep walking. See you. Peace out.